So after we have prepared the, the journal entries, and of course, uh, after the preparation of the journal entries for the merchandising activities, so we're going to post that in their respective nga, uh, ledgers. If we're using subsidiary ledgers, then we're going to post the transaction to the subsidiary ledgers. And also, if we're using the special journal, so from the special journals to the general ledger, or if there are subsidiary ledgers, then we are going to post it to the subsidiary ledgers. So after posting that to the uh, subsidiary ledgers and to the, the general ledgers, so we will be able to prepare the unadjusted trial balance. And if it is unadjusted trial balance, we will still need to look into the transactions that transpired during the year and determine if uh, adjustments should be made. So the same with the service um, activities or service operations, there are also adjustments in the merchandising uh, uh, cycle or merchandising operations. The merchan uh, merchandising uh, adjusting journal entries are just the same with the uh, adjusting entries for service operation except that we have additional adjustment required for the merchandise inventory. So the same rules will be applied for the accruals, deferrals, budgets, and depreciation. And the additional uh, item that we need to take note is on the merchandise inventory. So there are two ways on how to adjust the merchandise inventory ending balance. We have the adjusting entry method and we have the closing entry method. So for using the adjusting entry method, we will prepare adjusting entry. So as its name suggests, there should be an adjusting entry if we're using adjusting entry method. And adjusting entry would be debit to inventory ending balance or merchandise inventory ending balance or the date at the end of the year and credit income summary. And the closing entry for uh, this method would be none or you are not going to prepare any closing entry since we have already prepared an adjusting entry. So there's no entry because there's already an adjusting entry being made for ending merchandise inventory. On the other hand, if we are using closing entry method, to record or to adjust for the merchandise inventory, then there would be no adjusting entry because the adjustments or the the entry would be prepared together with the other closing entries. Remember that our lesson in the closing entry, uh, wherein we're going to close the income accounts and then close the expense accounts we're going to close income summary to the capital and we're also going to close the drawings account to the capital account so this the entry for the merchandise inventory and if we're using closing entry method will be made together with the other closing entries and the entry for that in the closing entry should be inventory end and credit income summary but we can mix this inventory end or we can add this additional entry together with the other closing entry so kauban niya tong mga inventory beginning uh, purchases, purchase, returns. So you are going to add this entry together with other um, income statement items. So here is an example for the worksheet preparation using the adjusting entry method in a periodic inventory system. Okay, so remember, sa periodic inventory system, we're going to uh, record purchases, purchase returns, purchase discounts uh, every time uh, we have transactions for those. But in the perpetual inventory system, the purchases, purchase returns, freight in, purchase discounts, these are recorded uh, by debiting or crediting 
inventory ng account. So this is um, an illustration for the adjusting entry method. So we will start with the column on the unadjusted trial balance here. And then we have the columns for adjustments, then the column for adjusted trial balance, then income statement, and then balance sheet. So if we're using the adjusting entry method, so we have already mentioned that we're going to prepare an entry for inventory ending balance under the adjustments column. So that's why we have here the entry inventory end then we have income summary and we can find that under the adjustments column so let us proceed with the uh, other details so we have uh, as usual we're going to post the adjustments in the adjustments column okay so these are already uh, placed here and then the next thing we will do is to compute what are the adjusted balances so if there are no entries on the debit or credit columns under the adjustments then we will just simply copy the amounts and place it in the correct uh, column whether debit or credit so since this is debit then we will place it under the debit column as well so for the inventory beginning for this amount here debit balance so we will just also copy that here and then the rest so for example for this one uh, store supplies since there's a debit for 500 uh, pesos then therefore since both are debited so debit balance and then debit to 500 so we were going to add and then it was result to 5250 and if the adjustment is on the opposite balance, so we already know that we're going to credit, uh, if, for example, the credit Misha, therefore, we're going to deduct if it is uh, placed on a, an opposite balance. Then let's proceed to the other items. So since there's, there are no adjustments here, okay, for example, this one, uh, this is a debit balance, 2000 and this is a credit adjustment. So as a result, this is uh, 1,500, which is the difference between the two. So instead of adding them, uh, because the, the entry was credited here, so therefore deduction. And then for the adjustments, we're just going to uh, copy and place it in the appropriate column since there are no beginning balances here. And of course, just copy also inventory and an income summary. So we will proceed to the uh, ex uh, extending the amounts to the income statement and the balance sheet columns. So we need to uh, be familiar with the items that belong to the balance sheet and uh, items that belong to the income statement. So first is since the transactions here until the drawings belong to the balance sheet so we expect them to be presented under the column balance sheet except for the inventory beginning okay so for the inventory beginning it will be placed in the uh, income statement column on the debit side of the income statement column then for the balance sheet you are going to leave it blank then for the income statement items which uh, include uh, the account starting from sales until the expenses so just extend that to the corresponding uh, column so if it's credit so we will credit that under the income statement column it's if it's debited then we're going to debit it there then for the adjustment, so we have to identify uh, where these accounts should belong. So budget expense would be under the income statement, allowance under uh, balance sheet, and so on. Uh, 
and we'll proceed to the inventory end so where are we going to place the inventory end so that will be extended under the balance sheet column for the inventory end because this is this will be the inventory balance that will appear in your balance sheet at the end of the year that's why there is shaggy botang sa balance sheet then the income summary uh, amount which is uh, 12,000 we will place that under the income statement credit balance uh, credit side uh, credit side after doing the uh, extending of the amounts then we're going to uh, compute the totals under each of the columns you will know if uh, you have placed it in the correct columns provided that you have placed the correct amounts so you will arrive at the same balance here most likely if you have uh, posted in, in the, it in the correct columns but again it's not guaranteed as i've mentioned in my uh, previous lessons on preparation of worksheet that it's not a guarantee that if you arrived with the same uh, balances here uh, your answer is already correct because uh, pwede man siyang parihas it can be that they have the, the same answer but the answer itself is not correct because it's either wrong ang atong adjustments wrong ang amounts adjustments although we have placed it in the correct columns mo arrive mag siya at a balanced nga amount pero ang question is if the amount in itself is really correct but it's already a relief if the amount here uh, placed would are the same both on the income statement and the balance sheet then uh, again we will compute the totals and then we are going to bring down the higher amount between the two columns so since 263,055 is greater so we're going to copy that here and as well on the debit side then also on under the balance sheet column so since 1,055,653 is greater so copy that below and also on the other side and compute the balancing figure and this will determine if there's a net income or if there is a net loss so how do we know if there's net income if the credit side in the income statement nga column is greater than the debit side because we know that the credit side here represents the income so if income is greater then there is net income so that's for the periodic inventory system using the adjusting entry method Now we will proceed to the closing entry method under the periodic inventory system. So again, if it's periodic inventory system, you can find the terms purchases, purchase discounts, freight in, uh, purchase returns. If it is closing entry method, remember that we do not prepare adjusting entry for the uh inventory end and we're not going to place that under the adjustments so if you can see here uh, we cannot uh, find the inventory end and income summary entry so there's no entry for that because the entry for the inventory end will be together with the other closing entries so what will happen now to the inventory balance so here okay the only difference would be uh, we will not find invent uh, inventory end here under the adjustments and there's no income summary account here but the adjustments would be on the income statement column so specifically this would only be the difference so we're going to trace okay so Look at the inventory balance. This is 24,300. It is placed under the debit side of the adjusted trial balance. So what we will do is we are going to place it the same with the uh, 
periodic nga adjusting entry method, we're going to extend it on the debit side of the income statement. But the inventory N would be placed on the credit side of the income statement column, which is, uh, if you can observe in the adjusting entry method, uh, there's no entry on the credit side but in the closing entry method there would be an entry which is 12,000 which represents inventory end and you can see here under the balance sheet column the ending inventory is uh, with amount uh, that is 12,000 and it replaced the 24,300 okay so, gi kick out si 24,300, gi pulihan o 12,000. And that would be the only difference between the two aside from dili na siya makita si inventory and here sa so adjustments and si income summary. And you will still arrive with the same uh, balancing figure, which would be the net income. Okay? So, that would be for the closing entry method. Now, let's proceed to the perpetual inventory system. So, for the perpetual inventory system, all of the entries uh, with regards to the purchases, purchase returns, uh, purchase discounts, freight in, they are all uh, recorded in the inventory account. So, we are just going to make adjustments if we will find out that uh, there are obsolete items, there are lost items. But the balance in your inventory uh, here is already the updated balance. So, for example, there are no other uh, errors or there are no uh, obsolescence or loss of inventory. That's why you can see here that the inventory end is already 12,000, which is the inventory N that we have recognized in the previous illustrations. So, updated na siya. Okay? So, dilit na kinahanglan magama pa o adjusting entries, except, again, kung na ay mga uh, loss, losses on the inventory, so we're going to reduce the inventory. Pero, at the end of the year, updated na niya siya. Kung pilay balance inventory, here, that's already the inventory, and that's why you can see it is already 12,000. And another point to uh, note is that uh, there are no purchases, purchase returns, purchase discounts, and freight in. All of these items are already embedded here in the cost of goods sold. Then, no need to prepare inventory and uh, or debit inventory and credit income summary uh, since this is again perpetual inventory system the inventory end is already updated okay as you can see uh, delete na siya kaayo uh, hassle because it will automatically arrive to the uh, correct na na siya nga, uh, amounts in your net income uh, for this net income or for the balancing figure so wala kayo shy adjustments so except that you will just extend the amounts so this amount will be extended to the adjusted trial balance again if there are no necessary adjustments and then just extend that automatically to the balance sheet dili siya pares tong example ganiha nga naapakay i-adjust there is income statement or you're going to place entry here under the adjustments column. So, automatic na siya. And you will still arrive with the same inventory um, balance. Na 12,000 here. And same net income which is 74,138. If you like this video, don't forget to click like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to be updated with the latest video lessons. Thank you for watching!